Welcome back to International Scout Modeler. I'm Lee. Today we're going to do the reveal show for the Warring Weather GB, which finished at the end of August over on ISM, International Scale Modeler. Uh, now the premise for this uh, GB was quite simple. It's basically any military vehicle uh, or any other vehicle for that matter, I think it was civilian as well if I remember rightly, that had uh, some sort of weather in its name. Uh, so you've got like the Ford Thunder, I think was one that uh, was entered, and you've got the, obviously the lightning, the whirlwind, all sorts of things that uh, could be um, uh, entered into the thing. It's a very large and open GB. Obviously, there's a lot of things like uh, the Ram for um, the Israelis, which I think is some divine thunder or thunder of some sort, I think. Um, so any derivative of, of warring, whether it be in English or any other language, was was allowed. And there were some cracking entries. Really was a good GB. It's unfortunate I didn't get to enter. I've been trying to get this into the syllabus for, for two years now, and it's got in and I just didn't have time to enter because I had a, an FX Lightning that I really wanted to do, but uh, I shall do that at another date, maybe when I retire at some point, who knows. Um, so uh, this was kindly sponsored by um, Aircraft.net, Martin over at Aircraft.net sponsored this. Uh, the prizes were, for first prize was a Mr. Hobby Procon Boy PS266 Airbrush with £100. Uh, second prize was three times Mr. Colour Gundam Kits, uh, totaling just over £30. And third place was a Sparmax H2O Airbrush Stand worth about £13, £15, something like that. Um, so some great prizes there supplied by Aircraft.net. Thank you very much, Martin. Um, there were 33 entries in, in this GB, which is one of our lowest GB entry rates. Usually we get over 50 on the GBs. Um, with 19 finishes, which equal to about 58%, 59% conversion rate around that sort of area. So the conversion rate was still okay, but um, it's just showing that the, the GBs and their SIGs, since the uh, Facebook page has taken over, um, it seems to be the, the GBs and the SIGs over on RCM, are, you know, just, we've lost about 25% of the entrance, I think, on most of those. But I think, I'm sure that will come back again anyway. So what we're going to do now is, uh, because obviously everyone's moved from uh, photo bucket and flip to Flickr or uh, an equivalent service, uh, all the threads do have photographs so we can do a reveal tape and slideshow for you. So uh, roll tape and let's see all these builds.
But there you go, I think you'll agree, some fantastic entries in there and some different ones as well, which was great to see. Uh, now the judging on this was very close. It came down to quarter points again between five or six people uh, at the top there and there was a lot of um, just under those as well. So it's a really good uh, standard of um, modeling and thread building as well, which is most important. Uh, so I think what we'll do now is we'll get over and reveal the winners. Okay, so for third place, third place was for the Sparmax H2O airbrush stand uh, and third place was Tommy Killinder. Tommy Killinder built a Hasegawa 148 Kyushu J7W1 Shinden Magnificent Lightning. Uh, it's an excellent build thread and a clean and subtly weathered finish at the end of it as well. Very nice looking aircraft. Um, and great thread as always from Tommy. Uh, always has a good thread there. Uh, so well done Tommy, you get the uh, H2O airbrush stand. Okay, so second place. Second place is for the three sets of Mr. Color Gundam kits. Uh, quite a nice little prize, actually. I wouldn't mind these. I'm, quite, I'm really getting into my Gundam at the moment. But uh, the second place winner is Lysis. And Lysis entered with a 148 Hasegawa J2M3 Raiden Prisoner of War. Uh, great thread and another clean, subtle weathering finish as well, just like third place. Um, but again, a very good thread. Uh, lots of processes involved in everything. And a well-deserved second place. Well done, Lysis. Okay, so first place, uh, the winner of uh, the Warring Weather GB goes to Tomcat 64. Um, Tomcat 64 is an Academy 172 A10A uh, Thunderbolt 2 killer chick on a little vignette. Um, and he had a, a tank in there as well. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was a Russian T-34, I think, if I remember rightly. Can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but it was a fantastic thread, fantastic thread all the way through and uh, the result was fantastic at the end as well, superb result. Um, and uh, really, uh, I think that, that that build and thread stood head and shoulders above everyone else, uh, even the usual suspects who really do really very well, well indeed. So well done to Tomcat64. Um, you get uh, the uh, Procon PS266 uh, Mr. Hobby Airbrush, a fantastic prize. Uh, so well done to everyone that entered. Uh, if you could PM me your names and addresses on International Scale Modder, that would be fantastic. We'll get these prizes out to you ASAP. Um, and so I just want to thank again Martin at aircraft.net for sponsoring our uh, GBs over on ISM. Thank you very much for fantastic prizes. Uh, and until next time, take care. Bye bye.